following broadcast is a production made by students of Hilo High School, KVikes TV. Hello and welcome to the third week of high school esports. My name is Luke, and the game of choice is a fast paced game, fast paced soccer game, Rocket League. Basically, soccer with cars. We have two teams here playing at Hilo High School, but right now only SNS Vikings is currently playing, and they're playing against the St. Joseph Cardinals. Looks like they're leading 3 to 0 with Corbier making a score. Let's take a look at the lineup for SNS Vikings. We have Corbin playing as Corbier, John as U.S. as Hour, and Tyler as Ragbag. And again, they're playing against the St. Joseph Cardinals. So let's take a look. And now joining me here today is Brandon. So I'm going to pass it over to him now. Brandon. Hi right, guys, good to be here again, and let's get right into the game. So on the blue side, we have a, currently a score of 4-0 with 350 on the clock. USSR goes for the shot, but it is blocked by, by St. Joe. Here's Corbier trying to clear the shot so it's away from the goal. As Corbier runs it across the field with Ragrag -rag for the assist. But it's scored by Corbier, putting the score at 5 to 0 with 3.13 left on the clock. Hilo leading. At the halfway point, contention, contention for the ball will go to Hilo. With Ragbag chasing. Corbin goes for the shot. And it scores. Score is now 6-0 to zero with 3.05 left on the clock. Attention will go to Hilo. Uses our setting. As it just misses the goal. So now we have St. Joe making over the halfway, but it is blocked by Ragbag. St. Joe trying to push with Corbier going for the shot. So close to the goal, but it will be cleared by St. Joe. Six people on this side with just barely cleared, but he will finally score the ball, putting the score at seven to zero with two of six left on the clock. St. Joe pushing the ball over the center line. Scorpion tries to assist his team. Tyler will shoot for the ball, but it just barely misses. But Corbin will go for the assist to make the score 8 to 0 with 150 left.
Corbin goes for the shot. Ball will try to be cleared by St. Joe. Ball's up the halfway point. St. Joe trying to go for the shot, but it is cleared by Corbin. As Corbin runs the ball across. Goalie by St. Joe will clear the ball as well. As St. Joe double teams to try to get the ball across. Great patience by John on USS Hour to make sure that the ball stays on the opposite side of the field. As John taps the ball in, but it is quickly cleared by St. Joe. As Ragbag tries to go for the shot, but his vehicle is blocked by St. Joe. Corbin goes for the shot, but it is it hits the sides. As Ragbag goes for the assist and gets the shot, making the score 9 to 0 with 36 seconds left on the clock. Ball will be pushed towards Hilo's side, but it has passed the center line to make it over to the St. Joe side. St. Joe tries to get it over, but ball is hit by Ragbag. As John Kenny scores with the assist from Corbin, making the score 10 to 0 with 16 left on the clock. Ten seconds under the clock. Can anyone make a score? USS Hour John Kenny will score once more, making the score eleven to zero with five seconds left on the clock. Although they're going for the halfway contention with four seconds left, this game is done. Once the ball hits the ground, the match will be over. Winner will be blue side. For Hilo, score for the first game will be 11 to 0. As they're ready back up for the next match in 50 seconds. For our viewers, it does seem that the ping is relatively high due to the fact that they are playing currently on the US e East server. All the players are readying up as we head into our second game of today, tonight. Early aggression by Hilo will put ball in control of Hilo, but both USS Hour and Ragbag will miss the assist. Putting the onus on St. Joe to try to make the first goal of the game. As Corbeer's vehicle will be destroyed, that puts St. Joe at a very good advantage to try to make the first goal. 
However, ball will be centered by Corbier. Trying to assist by Ragbag, but will be cleared by St. Joe. St. Joe with three players trying to get the ball over. Corbin wall riding. And with the assist from Corbier, John Kenny and USS Arrow make the first goal of the game, putting the score at 1 to 0 with 4.07 left on the clock. Ball contention will go over to St. Joe, but John running goalie will clear the ball as Corbin tries to maintain control. Wall riding. Three man defense. Ragbag tries to go for the shot, but will be cleared. As St. Joe tries to get the ball away from their goal, it will be pushed over the halfway point. With Corbier wall riding once again to try to clear the ball mid air. Goals open. But the shot is too high. Corbin goes for the shot, just misses. Ball will not be cleared in time, and Ragbag scores, putting the score at 2-0 with 2.57 left on the clock. There's still well over half the game to play, so it's still anyone's game. Once again in halfway contention, ball control will go over to St. Joe. But Corbier will block Ragbag as goalie putting the score at 1-2 to two with St. Joe making the shot. St. Joe making the first score against Hilo so far. As we have Corbier once again Ball is barely out, but it is pushed in by John Kenny on USS Hour, putting the score at 3 to 1. 2.36 left on the clock. Just about half of the game left. With only a two point differential, once again, it is anyone's game. As they head in, St. Joe trying to clear, but ball will be pushed in by Ragbag, putting the score at 4-1. to one. These goals are definitely happening much quicker than they have in the past. Just in the past minute alone, three goals have been scored in total. Once again at halfway contention, ball control will go over once again to St. Joe. As St. Joe has tries to 2v1 against Ragbag, Ragbag will go through the two and be able to clear the ball with three from Hilo on this side. As Corbier will drag the ball on top of his cart to make the score. 5-1 to one for Hilo with 2.11 left on the clock. As Ragbag tries to push the ball, St. Joe will be, should be able to clear, but no, it is scored by Corbier, putting the score at 6 to 1. Just barely clipped that ball there. Dang. Alrighty, let's head into the two minute mark where we do have. John Kenny centering the ball for the goal. Assisted by Ragbag. Ragbag will score for 7 to 1.
Ball will bounce off the top of the goal, but will be bounced back in by Corbier. They can score 8 to 1, 146 left on the clock. Hilo seems to be going for a repeat of their first game score with 11 points. Let's see if they can match. However, St. Joe does seem to be putting up the aggression as the ball more often than not ends up on their side and it will be scored by St. Joe, putting the score at two to eight. With no one protecting the goal from Hilo's side, that was an easy shot for St. Joe. As Ragbag runs the ball up the field, but four people on that side will make the ball go over to Hilo's side. St. Joe trying to double commit to get the ball into the goal, but it is cleared by Ragbag. Ragbag solo running the ball up the field as he tries to send the ball for Corbier. Ball would just barely miss. The five men scuffle near the goal. Who will make the goal? Ball will barely be knocked in by Ragbag. Putting the score 9 to 2 with 44 seconds left. They're there for about a good 20 seconds. Jeez. What a clown fiesta. St. Joe pushing the ball to the other side. With Ragbag trying to play goalie. Ball would just barely be cleared by Corbier. As St. Joe will chase to try to get the ball back over to the Hilo side. 10 seconds left. Can anyone make a goal? Final ball will be cleared by Corbier. With the end of the second game, score 9-2, Hilo leading. Set score 2-0 as we head into our third game. As we ready for our third game, let's see if St. Joe can tie up the sc set score of 2-0. to zero. Reverse sweeps aren't uncommon, so let's see if they can make it happen. But right at 9 seconds into the game, Ragbag will score the first goal of the match. Putting the score 1-0 to zero with 4.51 left on the clock. Let's see if St. Joe can make a goal equally as fast. As St. Joe's goalie will try to clear, Ragbag wall riding to see if he can get to the ball. Ball so close to the goal. Ball will be pushed in by Corbier, making the score 2 to 0. With 442 left on the clock. Kilo High really turning up the aggression now. Hopefully St. Joe's early aggression will f still favor them as they head in with only 20 seconds so far elapsed in the five minute game. Anything can happen for sure. Ball is pushed over by St. Joe as play their play VS player goes for the shot, but it is cleared by Corbier. Corbier and Ragbag fighting over the ball, even though they're teammates. As we have our play VS, their play, St. Joe's play VS player trying to go in. 
Ball is cleared. St. Joe running the ball up the field once again. Going over the goalie, Corbier will score the ball, putting the score at 3 to 0 with 4.02 left on the clock. Just barely bounced over St. Joe's goalie there. Alrighty, ball is hit to a spot where no one's currently at. However, let's see if the double commit by Hilo will be able to score a goal. But they do have a triple defense on St. Joe's side. It looks like St. Joe's triple defense paid off as they're able to clear the ball. However, it does put the goalie away from the goal itself. Let's see if this triple defense once again pays off. Ball is still on this side. As Hilo will try to score, but oh, the goal is open. St. Joe, can they score it? Corbin trying to clear. St. Joe really turning up the pressure now. However, Hilo does find a pocket with Corbier trying to make the shot. As Ragbag knocks out Corbin's shot. Let's see if St. Joe can clear it. They do have three players over and it looks like they will make the clear. Ball going over the halfway contention. It's Corbier will try to go for the shot. Goalie misses. And Corbier will score, putting the score at 4 to 0 with 2.34 left on the clock. As for an update on our second team, it does appear that they, they were not able to play the game today. HPA did not ready up in time, so it does appear that Hilo High School will either have to reschedule the match or the match will go over to Hilo High School for our. B team of sandbags. Getting back to SNS Vikings versus St. Joe. We do have St. Joe's goalie clearing the ball. As Ragbag scores, putting the score at 5 to 0, 154 left on the clock. The score certainly does favor Hilo High School. But let's see if St. Joe can mount a comeback. At the half of contention, ball will hit the ceiling and get bounced down to John on USS Hour. However, St. Joe is pushing with double. However, their double commit will result in one of the players from St. Joe being destroyed as Corbier scores, putting the score at 6 to 0. 132 left in the clock. Corbier really utilizing that wall riding to get a better vantage point and to get a better angle to score the shot. Here we have Ragbag trying to send out the goal for USS Hour. As Sancho tries to clear, their double commit does allow them to push the ball up to the halfway point. As Sancho pushes, Ragbag is able to pop his, his vehicle up mid-air. To clear the ball, control goes over to, to Hilo. Ball gets pushed in, and Ragbag will score, putting the score at 7 to 0 with 59 seconds left on the clock. One minute left in this game with 7 0. It does seem like Hilo High will take the set. But let's see if St. Joe can make some more goals to get those stats. 
Early aggression will net Kilo High another goal with Corbier assisting Ragbag, putting the score at 8 to 0 with 51 left on the clock. We have USSR going for the shot as he scores, putting the score 9 to 0. 41 left on the clock. Even though St. Joe did double commit to try to block the ball, USSR's boost is able to get him to be able to convert over to a point. Have a contention, it's anyone's ball. Corbio will try to go for the shot, but ball is just bounced on the rim of the goal. 3 people trying to fight over the ball. Goal is scored by USS Hour John Kenny, putting the score at 10 to 0 with 15 left on the clock. Aerial maneuver assisted by Corbin. Ragbag will score with 11 to 0, 10 seconds left on the clock. It does appear that Hilo High will take the match. The final seconds left on the clock. Let's see what's going to happen. St. Joe tries to push. Corbin going for a final goal, but it will be pushed out. And that's the end of the third game with match record being 3 to 0. Hilo High will take the win. I'd like to thank everyone for coming in today. St. Joe did definitely have a lot of early game aggression, but Hilo's superior teamwork did allow them to score more goals today. So thank you very much for watching our live stream of Hilo High School Esports at Hilo High School. On behalf of the Cave Vikes live stream crew, we hope you join us again next week for another exciting match. Keep up to date with Hilo High School by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch at Hilo High School. Once again, thank you for watching and have a nice day.